Pittsburgh Penguins have established intense rivalries over the years with teams such as the Washington Capitals and the Philadelphia Flyers. And they have lesser rivalries with squads such as the Detroit Red Wings. Around the NHL though, there are opposing players who the Penguins just don't have a lot of love for. Maybe a player made some disparaging remark about the team, or maybe they are known for their unforgivable dirty play. In some cases, the players are former Penguins who have made decisions to move on in the least polite way possible. So, here are eight of the Penguins' most hated opposing players. Number eight, Scott Hartnell. The reason why Hartnell is so low on the list now is the fact that he's not playing for their number one rival team anymore, the Flyers. Since he's with the Columbus Blue Jackets, I decided to rank him a little bit lower considering that the rivalry may not be quite as much of a rivalry anymore as it was. But the reason why it came to be started in 2009 in a Flyers and Penguins game. Hartnell supposedly bit defenseman Chris Letang during a scrum towards the end of the game. I actually remember this. Like Tang came out of the scrum holding his hand and told the referee that Hartnell bit him. Hartnell wasn't aware of the incident, saying a lot of stuff happens when players get tangled up. He added that he had never been accused of biting anyone before, seemingly taking the incident in stride. The NHL reviewed the game tape and found that there wasn't any evidence of a bite, and Hartnell wasn't penalized. The controversy blew over, but it hasn't been forgotten. However, Hartnell does earn some high points for having fun with a Penguins fan who had a Flyers jersey with the nickname Fart Smell on the back, Hartnell signed the jersey to my biggest fan, prompting laughs from Penguins and Flyers fans alike. Number 7. Victor Hedman when Crosby played on January 5th of 2011, despite being injured in the Winter Classic, it was Victor Hedman who delivered the second blow that put Crosby out of action. Hedman hit Crosby from behind, pushing his head into the glass and knocking the captain onto the ice. He received two minutes for boarding on the play, but didn't get any additional punishment from the league, just as with Steckel before. There's no clear-cut evidence that Hedman was responsible for contesting Crosby. However, he was booed when the Penguins and Bolts met in the 2000s. 2011 Stanley Cup playoffs, a series in which the Lightning won in seven games after battling back from a 3-1 deficit. Number 6. Ilya Kovalchuk Kovalchuk initially caused some trouble with the Penguins when he was still with the Atlanta Thrashers back in 2007. Crosby was serving a penalty and Kovalchuk scored on the Thrasher's power play. Upon scoring, he skated by the box and pointed to Crosby in an action scene as unsportsmanlike. He also has trash-talked Crosby in the past, mostly doing so while backing up Alex Ovechkin, who he counts as one of his friends off the ice. He was even brave enough to say Crosby has a long way to go before he could be as good as Ovechkin. Kovalchuk continued to haunt the Pens as a member of the New Jersey Devils. A few seasons ago, he had nine points against Pittsburgh, including a penalty shot goal. But considering that he's overseas at the moment, he won't be scoring on them anytime soon. Number 5. Alexander Simmon Back in 2008, Simmon caused a stir in an interview with Huck Daddy when he expressed his disdain for the NHL popping up Sidney Crosby as a superstar, saying, What's so special about Crosby? I don't see anything special there. Yes, he does skate well, he has a good head, good pass, but there's nothing else. I think that if you take any player, even if he's dead wood, and start promoting him, you'll get a star, especially if he scores 100 points. No one is going to care about anyone else. No one's going to care whether anyone else possesses great skill. Let's just say, you put someone in front in the net and let him deflect pucks in and he scored 50 goals, everyone will say, wow, and hand them a 10 million per year contract. That's what they like here. Crosby responded saying that he didn't need a reason to be motivated and that he is used to being criticized. Essentially, he didn't feel bothered by Simmons' words. Number 4. Marion Hossa Marion Hossa played for the Penguins for a brief time in the 2007-2008 season after being traded from the Atlanta Thrashers. He had an immediate impact, scoring 10 points in 12 games and then putting them up by 26 points in 20 playoff games. The Penguins lost to the Detroit Red Wings in that year's Stanley Cup Finals. However, Hossa turned down a contract in the offseason to sign with the Wings, saying he felt they gave him a better chance to win a Stanley Cup. Penn's fans were angry and showed this by booing him every time he came onto the ice. When he was once again on the losing end in 2009 after the Finals rematch, many believed it was karma. Number 3. Yamir Yager 
Yarmir Yager has been hated by Penguins fans for a long time, going back to the 2000-2001 season. Rumors were going around that he didn't get along with Ivan Klinka, the Penguins head coach at the time. He was also resented for holding the captaincy while Mario Lemieux was out with injuries. Yager also supposedly made negative remarks about Pittsburgh before his departure. And whenever he returned to Pittsburgh as a member of the New York Rangers or Washington Capitals, he was booed when he touched the puck. But it all came to a head back in 2012. Yager was looking to return to the NHL after spending three seasons in Russia, and the Penguins were said to have been interested in him. Apparently, Yager felt the same way, and the members of the media even said he might sign a one-year deal, turning down offers from teams such as the Detroit Red Wings. However, Yager, who was supposedly on a flight to Pittsburgh before the free agency started, never showed up in the area, and his own agent didn't even know about his whereabouts. On July 1st of that year, Penguins pulled the contract offer and focused on on other needs. Yager signed with the Flyers, the Penguins' most hated rival, and caused further resentment in a city that already disliked him. Number 2. Alex Ovechkin. Ovechkin has been Sidney Crosby's main nemesis on the ice since the two came into the league in the 2005-2006 season. The two also played in the 2011 Winter Classic, despite the fact that the media hyped the rivalry and it was the main focus of HBO's 24-7, neither player had a point in the game. Ovechkin's shortcomings in big games have also fueled the competition between the two. At this point, Crosby has won three Stanley Cups, and Ovechkin, meanwhile, has yet to contend with the Capitals while constantly coming up short in the playoffs, as well as the Russian squad underperforming in previous Olympic meets. Number 1. P.K. Subban After just his third season in the NHL, P.K. Subban already was hated by Penguins players and fans. He has pulled out dangerous plays several times in the past during the Penguins and Canadians games. He injured Jordan Stahl in the 2010 Stanley Cup playoffs by sticking his foot out and tripping Stahl. Although Stahl returned later in the series, he required offseason surgery on a foot injury that kept him out of the lineup to open the 2010 and 2011 campaign. Subin has used a slew footing move on Chris Kunitz and James Neal as well, and he was fined for the Kunitz incident, but it was Neal who was fined for high sticking. Since he's been traded to the Nashville Predators, Subban has not shown much signs of changing or letting up on his play, and it's come to be very expected that he will do something controversial when the Predators and Penguins meet up.